Hello, my name is Dr. Abid Okeli Fred Namudu from Department of Anatomy, College of Medical Sciences, Edo State University, Udaire, Edo State in Nigeria. I'm here to make a presentation entitled Anabolic Androgenic Steroid Induced Oxidative Tissue Damage and Decline to the Fetal Antioxidant System in Renal Tissue. Anabolic androgenic steroids are synthetic drugs formed from testosterone and its precursor. They are widely used drugs by young athletes for muscle building. In study conducted in 2016, it was reported that Anabolic androgenic steroid is mostly used by young individuals. And the type you mostly use is the testosterone from the county, according to Paten et al. 2020. Inappropriate use of these steroid-based drugs have reported deleterious effects such as destruction of the cardiac muscle and glomerular dysfunction. Anabolic androgenic steroid has been documented to work by activating androgenic receptor signaling. Chronic use of steroid-based drug causes destruction of organ structural and functional integrity. And this destruction is mediated by oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is marked by a decline in antioxidant enzyme status while increasing the lipid peroxidation. According to Frank King Seal et al. 2014, anabolic androgenic steroid disrupt redox metabolism in tissues, leading to increased reactive oxygen species that damage the DNA. In this study, we, we are carrying out this study to evaluate the interaction between lipid peroxidation and antioxidant system in the renal cortex of rats administered androgenic steroid. For us to achieve this aim, we are going to study, this study is to study the histopathological changes in the renal tissue using hematoxylin and EOC stain to check the histo-architectural arrangement while periodic acid, acid heat reagent reaction will be used to evaluate uh, changes in basement membrane, talking about the leucine granules within, along the uh, line in the basement membrane. Then we are going to study the activity, serum activity of antioxidant enzyme superoxide dismutase in androgenic anabolic steroid treated rice rats, and also study the lipid peroxidation activity using malondehyde enzyme, which is an enzyme marker for oxidative tissue damage in androgenic anabolic steroid treated rats. Now, in this study, we used 20 adult male whipster rats of average weight of 150 grams. Ethical approval was granted by the Department of Anatomy Beham University, and the animals were housed in the animal house holding in the department, and care was given according to guidelines for the care and use of animal in research. Anabolic androgenic steroid was procured from a pharmaceutical company in Abuja, and it was administered orally using holy oil as vessel at 120 milligram per kg for 21 days. So the animals were divided into this following into the following study group: control A, B, olive oil, C, 120 milligram per kg of anabolic androgenic steroid for 21 days, and D starts as this withdrawal group, seven days withdrawal group. Now, at the end of the study, blood samples were collected and serum preserved for spectrophotometric analysis. 
for superoxide dismutase and uh, MDA activity using spectrophotometric analysis by using a commercial kit to analyze the activity. Then the uh, kidney tissue excite was fixed in 10 to 10 somos the line and processed using automated tissue processor. Processed tissue was sectioned at 5 microns and stained for H and imatoxylin and eosin stain and passed. Tissue photomicrography was done at 10 times 40 uh, objective, at times 40 magnific and magnific magnification. Data and obtained was analyzed using graph pad statistical analysis, analytical tool, using a, a one-way ANOVA. Statistical test was set at P less than 0 0.05. Then data obtained were expressed as mean, plus, or minus standard deviation. Results obtained show that anabolic androgenic steroid caused a significant increase in MDH activity, showing severe and uh, showing lipid peroxidation as compared to control rat, olive oil treat, uh, vehicle, vehicular treated rat, as well as the withdrawal group. In the withdrawal group, we saw a gradual decline in MDA activity, showing that cessation of this uh, oxidative stress mediator injection causes the, uh, the cell tissue to gradually revive and decline and mop out the, and reduce lipid peroxidation since the inductor is no more there. Now, uh, antioxidant enzyme activity here shows a severe decline in SOD activity in uh, androgenic steroid treated group, while as compared with the control group and control group and the holy void treated group. Now, looking at the pathological slide, histopathological changes using PAT, we found out that we have a basal membrane intact, as shown by the blue arrow, as well as in the control and olive oil. However, in the treated group, AAS treated group, we can see fragmentization, fragmentation of the glomerulus, rupture of the renal tubule, shown by the yellow circle, Grand glass appearance of the epithelial cells of the renal tubules, loss blood. We have blood vessels, blood cells between the renal tubules, and loss of distortion of the basement membrane of the epithelium. But in the uh, withdrawal group, we can see gradual regeneration or replacement of the basal lamina and protection of those cells. H&E show, show, shows us intact glomerulus in both control, but here we can see vacuolation and fragmentization of the glomerulus, the generation and vacuolation within the epithelium, glomerular epithelium of the renal tubule. However, here in the uh, withdrawal group, we can see gradual regeneration of the cell because of the withdrawal of the anabolic androgenic steroid that helps ubiquitous antioxidant system to increase its production while mopping out the active oxygen species produced by anabolic androgenic steroid. From this study, we can conclude that anabolic androgenic steroid can induce oxidative tissue damage and deplete ubiquitous antioxidant enzymes leading to disruption of renal epithelial cell integrity. But this is reversed upon withdrawal of anabolic androgenic steroids. These are my references, selected references. I want to appreciate a major scientist conference organizer for sponsoring me, for me to present this research. I want to appreciate Diam University for providing facilities for carrying out this research as well as Edo State University for their support. Thank you. Thank you.